Blue Cross Studio, New Day Northwest starts now. Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. I'm Brooke Fox from Brook and Jubilee in the morning on Moving 92.5 and I'm filling in for Margaret this morning. And first up, the Seattle International Comedy Competition is underway with contestants from the U.S., Canada, the U.K., as far away as Japan. And it's billed as America's biggest touring comedy festival with three weeks of competition leading into one comedian being crowned champion. Now we have two contestants right here who are going to battle to the death. <laughs> Right? Is that what's going to happen? Yep. No. Okay. Uh, Evelyn Jensen and Isaac Novak, welcome. Hello. Thank you. And you're here for hot topics, so I say we just start right to it, right? Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, here's the hottest topic of the day. Kanye West trolled by Burger King after he reveals that McDonald's is his favorite restaurant. Did you see this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fitting. I mean, he has aligned himself with Donald Trump. Donald Trump loves McDonald's, so it makes sense. Oh, it makes that he would also love. Yeah. And Burger King tweeted him saying, eyes still closed, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to stop you right there, Burger King. McDonald's has the greatest burgers of all time. What? <laughs> You're a McDonald's lover as well. Dude, I'm Wendy's. Give me a square oh, yeah. patty all the way. I love the square. And they wear gloves. It's very important. Do they not at the other places? Well, I don't know. Hopefully By next violation. week, he's not even going to be talking. He's like, I don't even talk about burgers anymore. I'm over that. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about Kanye West or Kanye Donald West. Trump at this point? <laughs> yeah, okay. Hard to tell them apart. <laughs> because that Blend was a very together. calm Kanye West voice. I feel like he usually <laughs> yells at everything. I don't do impressions. <laughs> okay, you don't do impressions. <laughs> and Idris Elba, did you see this? Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he is so Ooh, sexy. I know. Is it hot in here? <laughs> yeah. It, it is really hot in here. Yeah. Look at this man. Uh, wow. Voted sexiest man alive. And I think maybe the first time People Magazine has ever had a man that was not, there was no controversy around him. Yeah. Like yeah, everyone, everyone agrees. agrees on oh, this. yeah. Blake Shelton last year, that was, I was like, what? That was a travesty. <laughs> yeah, no, that was terrible. This is like an amazing just upgrade. I think yeah. they really nailed it. I've yeah. been saying this since The Wire. Yep. Oh, since he was on The Wire. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He's yep. been in your dreams many yep. times yep. since then. Even Stringer as a Bell. drug kingpin. <laughs> yep. Stringer Bell. I definitely buy drugs from that guy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next up on our hot topics, what else do we have here? Facebook. Do you guys use Facebook? Of course you oh, yeah. do, right? Yep. Yes. I mean, we're old enough. Yep. The young people don't use Facebook yeah. anymore. Yeah. The oh, youngs. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's how you know you're getting old. The youths. Old. The youngs, they don't use Facebook no. like they used to. But Facebook apparently took out a patent that said that they are maybe going to be able to suggest Facebook friends of people who are standing next to you. So if you're standing next to me right now, I could just find you without ever knowing your name or anything. I'm st I mean, I'm always looking for new friends. I don't need to meet them in person, so I'm okay. all I'm on board. But you would be next to them. I mean, you literally could meet them in person, but you would meet them on Facebook instead. I prefer an internet interaction. Okay. Isn't that Tinder? Is Facebook becoming Tinder? Is, yeah. Is because I like my friends, but I don't like them, like them, like them, like you know? Okay. You don't, well, I mean, this is more than friends. This could be somebody that's in the elevator with you. Yeah. Wow. You know, they could find, what would they find out about you that would be a little incriminating on Facebook? Anything? Stand-up comedy. Well, that's incriminating. That enough. you liked the Nickelback yeah. page? Yeah. Hey, that's between us. We're not supposed hey, to talk about that. That information is public. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys get any weird things on Facebook from people? I mean, now that you're comedy superstars with the Seattle International Comedy Competition? Weird friend requests. Weird. And weird. then you accept and you're like, whoa, what is my timeline filled with? <laughs> Strange memes. Don't you think that that gives you like a better look into the real world? Yes. Yeah, it's right? Because nice. you're not in your bubble anymore. Because mm -hmm. most people glasses. on Facebook are in their bubble. They, mm -hmm. only, they only take the friend. I have, I have friend requests from all over the country. Yeah. It's a weird world I live in yeah. online. <laughs> That's yeah. why I say yes to all the bots. Oh, oh nice. all the bots. You yeah. like the bots. Yep. You don't discriminate. Humans, nope. robots, yeah. doesn't yep. matter. You're They're a bot all, man. Yeah, yeah. If you're friendly okay. to me, I'm friendly to you. Well, that's not going to work out for you if Facebook comes out with this patent because I don't think bots can stand next to you. Yeah, they'll figure it out. You yeah. think so? Yeah, yeah, augmented reality. <laughs> they'll be there. <laughs> Facebook will figure everything out, right? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I they'll trust them. They'll rule them. our world. Uh, do you guys do my, are you big soccer fans? Not really. Okay. I'm aware of it as a sport. I know it exists. Okay. I think that it doesn't mean, I mean, I don't think you even have to be a soccer fan. Is that the one on ice? The, the one on ice? Yeah. The sport. Never mind. No, that's hockey. Oh, okay. Hockey. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, Mohamed Salah, did you see his statue in <laughs> Egypt? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to know soccer to know this <sighs> beautiful piece of art right here. His, uh, his body <laughs> does not look like that. Nope. Who did, like, was he, was the artist just using, like, a magnifying glass just on his head? He looks like a caricature. Yeah. In a statue. 
But if his head was that big, I don't think, I mean, he would literally just fall forward all yeah. the time would be my guess. And he's got massive shoulders, a very tiny waist, small arms. It's like you looked at one photo of him once and then just committed it to memory as yeah. fast as you could. That guy doesn't do bodies normally. But if that's the first impression you leave on somebody, how are you feeling if that's the only time they, you know? Yeah. Now, are you excited that you have a statue, even if it looks like this? No. Nah, I'd rather have nothing at all. <laughs> You put an eye patch on that. That's Dale Chihuly as a baby. There you go. <laughs> yep. Did you did you guys see the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> statue? Oh yeah. Yep. I mean, like this is kind of a trend. Yep. Yeah. You know, Cristiano R Ronaldo, it, I believe, is the most followed person on Instagram right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And very sexy. Not so much in the statue. I don't I'm know. Gonna... I kind of think the statue is hot. Oh, you do. I like the crazy eyes. Yeah, you you like... like tiny faces on a big head. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the... I'm all about that. I like the crazy neck on the statue. Ooh, yeah, that too. That's some serious muscles, mm -hmm. I would assume. Yeah. Neck muscles. Yeah. Wherever I move, it still looks at me. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think your bust would look like if they made one of you? Real life or a little bit more like this? Um, even a tinier body and a bigger head, oh, probably. Yeah. Right. yeah. Like a just tip over. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a graphic designer, right? By I am. Day, I am. Graphic designer illustration. Yep. So what does that mean? I mean, are you disappointed in these people? What would you do differently for them next time? I would probably look at a photo mm -hmm. and then make the sculpture. Okay. Smart. Well, pfft. You heard it from an artist. Right there, you guys. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. And I don't know if you guys heard, but I think we're about to be overtaken by aliens. Yes. There's a spacecraft coming our way with a name that I can't pronounce because scientists came up with it, and they're often smarter um, than I am. Umama. 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 Baby talk. Umama. 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 Is that where you're going with? Yeah. Umama. Umama. Look Ooh, at that spacecraft. Mama. Look at that spacecraft. Dang. Uh, and apparently, they're actually saying that it could be, I mean, these are Harvard researchers, they're raising the possibility that it could be an alien spacecraft sent to kind of check out the Earth. I mean, anything's possible. Yeah. What do you think they'd see right now? Um, I think they'd be really happy we're talking about them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. you, would, you think they'd be happy about it? Yeah. I think that they're just going to fly right on by and be like, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're too advanced for that. That place is a mess. They're like, they go, they checked it out, and no, thank just you. Just kidding. I just love the Passing logic. Like, we're not sure what it is. It's got to be aliens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the Seattle International Comedy Competition is going on right now. Mm -hmm. It's three weeks long. You guys are both, what, what week are we in? Week two, preliminary week two. Preliminary. Mm -hmm. How are you guys feeling? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. Everyone's really funny. Yeah. It's I think I came into this uh, thinking like, oh, I can advance, but now I'm just like, oh, everyone's funny. I don't even care anymore. I'm just, everyone is just so good. Um, now, comedians always talk nicely of each other mm -hmm. to their faces, but behind each other's backs, are you actually talking some mad? Uh, oh, serious. Yeah. Serious, okay. serious. Yeah, yeah for Just sure. about each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really just back and forth. So, yeah. And how do you find time to do this? I mean, how do you find time to do day jobs and then the competition at night? I mean, you just make time, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, if you really love it, you're going to, you know, set aside time and, and do it. So it's, I think it's like not, it's not as tiring as, you know, a day job is either. Okay. For me, at least, because yeah. it's something that I really love to do. Okay. And yeah. where do you guys get your material from, mostly? Ooh. I just take from my life, basically. Right. Uh, I'm not really much of a topical comic or like political or anything I like that. I think you did great during Hot Topics. Thank so you. That I need appreciate to it, right? Yeah, <laughs> Switch Evelyn. it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Switch up my style. But yeah, I always go with, you know, go with what I know and I just draw from my life, childhood, growing yeah. up in Minnesota, stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah. Where's your Minnesota accent? You bring that out? Uh, I got it removed surgically. You did? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, it costs yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I got to do comedy on the side. <laughs> and you, Isaac, what do you love about comedy? Um, what do I love about comedy? I think just making people laugh. I started going to, um, before I did comedy, I started going to a, a laugh hole, of, um, the People's Republic of Comedy shows. Oh, right. Which was kind of a, a, a really cool, like, alt comedy uh, troupe in Seattle. And, um, oh, it, it's just, there's nothing like live comedy. There's nothing like being in an audience and, and just just laughing until it hurts. And I'm like, I want to give that to people. Okay, and people can come see you, of yeah. course, at the Seattle International Comedy uh, Competition. The mm -hmm. 39th annual Seattle International Comedy Competition runs through November 25th at comedy venues around Western Washington. And we've linked more information online. Still ahead, how to create gorgeous seasonal wreaths to take you into the new year in style. We'll be right back after this.